Mohammed Izza devoted his youth to the Algerian struggle for independence. Now, as an old man, he lives in the French city of Marseille, where he's an active member of the community. Mohammed and his friend Ali have vivid memories of French rule in Algeria. They think now is a good time for President Hollande to open a new chapter in relations. But for that to happen, France first needs to apologize. We want François Hollande to make a step, a concrete step towards repentance, because there's no more hatred anymore. Algeria is virgin territory industrially. Today, France can seize its chance to strengthen its economic ties with Algeria because the stakes are so high at the moment. More than three million people of Algerian origin live in France. Many of them have dual citizenship. They make regular trips across the Mediterranean, their cars piled high with goods bought in French shops. Here in the port of Marseille, I'm about halfway between Paris and Algiers. It gives you a sense of just how close the two countries are, but the relationship between them is complicated. The French occupied Algeria for 132 years. For them, it was more than a colony. They considered Algeria to be part of France. The war for independence was long and bloody. More than one million people were killed, both Algerians and French. Jean-Louis Jordan was born in Algeria. So were his father, his grandfather and his great-grandfather. He and his family fled as refugees in 1962. He says the French built Algeria into a great country and they have nothing to apologize for. There's no need for repentance. The Algerians aren't even asking for it. In Algeria we say, the past is dead. There's no point in stirring it all up. The question of historical guilt is deeply controversial here. Opinions are divided, even within families. The older generation of immigrants are often more ready to forgive than younger French Algerians. President Hollande will need to measure his words carefully. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, in the French city of Marseille.